All right, so what we're going to do on reflection, there's really two ways on how we can do this. One of them, one thing we can do is think of the mirror line. If you know what Y equals X looks like, on paper, obviously graph it. On the computer, imagine it. So in my case, I'm going to draw the line. I'm going to, like I said, on paper, you can literally graph it. On, on, on computer, you can imagine it. And one way I can do is count spaces. H, it is on the mirror line. So that one stays on its on where it is. I'm going to call this H prime. K, I'm going to count my spaces diagonal. It's half a space to the mirror line. So it's going to be half a space on the other side. Like I said, I'm literally counting spaces. Looking at Jade is one, two, three and a half to the mirror line. So it has to be three and a half on the other side. There's the half and then one, two, and three. So it gives me this point for J prime. I is going to be one, two, three and a half. So there's the half, one, two, and three. So I will be there. I right? literally counted spaces. Then I'm going to connect my points if I have to graph. And it looks like my picture got flipped over the mirror line. Now, I know for homework, I'll ask you guys for the coordinates of one point. If I ask you for J prime, we can tell that the coordinates of that one is 4, negative 3, right? If I ask you for I prime, it's 5, negative 2, so on and so forth. That's one way of doing it, the counting spaces. Another way we could have done it we could have used the coordinates. If I do, for example, if I look at the coordinates of I, for example, coordinates are negative two, five, then for me to find the coordinates of the I prime, I'm gonna follow the rule on reflection across Y equals X. It says that X, Y becomes Y, X. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip my numbers. I'm not gonna flip the, change the signs. So this is I, I'm going to say I prime will be 5, negative 2. Thank you. All right, I prime is 5, negative 2. All I did was flip my numbers. All right, I is negative 2, 5. I prime is 5, negative 2. If you see, that's I prime. And then I can do for each point. So either draw the mirror line and count spaces on reflection or use the, the coordinates. Let me take a look at example number two using the coordinates. Like looking at K, if I want to get the coordinates of K are negative four, negative two. If I look at L, the coordinates are negative two, I mean negative one, negative two. And if I look at J, the coordinates are negative four, negative four. Now when I look at my board, and I'm looking for a reflection across y equals negative x. It says x, y becomes negative y, negative x, which means flip the numbers and change the signs. So if I want to know k prime, it will be 2, 4. I flip them and change the signs. Right? They were negative to begin with, so I made them positive. If I look at l prime, my numbers will be 2, 1. Flip them and change the signs. And then on J prime, it will be 4, 4. It doesn't look like I flip, but I did flip them and change the signs. So I can easily plot those points. It's 2, 4 is right there. This is K prime. 2, 1 is L prime. And then 4, 4 is J prime. <laughs> I can connect my points. And if you imagine the line y equals negative x, you can see that it got flipped. So either, when it comes to reflection, either count spaces like I did question number one, or use the coordinates like I did question number two. So, but if you're going to count spaces, like number one, if you're going to count spaces, make sure you know the mirror line. Make sure you know it. If you screw up on the mirror line, you're going to screw it up. Now, these get easily confused with rotation. Like I was saying earlier, it gets confused with rotation. But cool thing on, on reflection is that the Ks are like straight out and like the Ls are right there. 
kind of like on question number one, the K's are there, the eyes, like they do match. Now, if I was doing r rotation, like looking at question number two, K's right here, K prime will be over here. Like it will flip. So more than anything, when I ask you guys to write the rule, I give you guys both images. That's when they get confused a lot. Like when it's reflection, K will go straight to the other side of, of the mirror line. On rotation, K goes to the other side, but it also flips. Like I said, there's, there's that difference. So make sure you guys understand that. All right. Any questions? 